Good Monday morning to you, certified digital meteorologist Vanessa Alonso here in the KQ2 Weather Center. It has been a very active start to our day as we are watching showers and thunderstorms moving into the region. Thankfully, we're not expecting severe weather today, but Tuesday it's going to be hot and humid with the chance for strong to severe storms later on in the afternoon. It is an unsettled start to the work week for us but nothing compared to what our friends out in the Atlantic and the Caribbean are dealing with as they have been dealing with a very active start to the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season we have Hurricane Barrel which is about to make landfall in the Windward Islands over the next few hours and earlier this morning we had Tropical storm Chris made landfall in Mexico. It has since weakened to a tropical depression, bring rain and wind to our friends to the south of us in Mexico. And we have another tropical disturbance that has a 60% chance of development from the National Hurricane Center over the next five to seven days. But the top weather story in the tropics and across the nation is this powerful category four hurricane Hurricane Barrel, it went through rapid intensification over the weekend. Did go through an eye wall replacement cycle earlier this morning, but now has strengthened back up to a Category 4 once again with winds at 130 miles per hour. Will make landfall as a Category 4 hurricane somewhere between St. Vincent and Grenada later on today and then eventually continue to move through the Caribbean, eventually weakening to a Category 2 storm as it moves south of Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and even the island of Jamaica. So if your 4th of July plans does include moving or go heading south to these areas, I should say, be aware that about this tropical system something that we'll be watching and keeping you updated on please keep it tuned here to kq2